All right, folks, we're back at the batting cage, as you can see. But uh, thanks to hittingforcontracts.com. He's a batting coach or something like that. But anyways, he gave us the advice to add two poles in the middle um, to help support the sag from the net. Um, but we're doing that today. We're cutting that off today and installing bigger turnbuckles to hold the wires up because those ones are stretching when you put tension on them because they're baby ones. So I'm gonna go and load the skid steer. Tim, say hi. And yeah, we'll set a time lapse up because it's supposed to rain. I think it's gonna rain here soon. And I wanna get done before the rain because last time it ruined the GoPro. at the batting cage and progress has been made um unfortunately we did not get it on film kind of annoying but it's all good catch you up to speed um came out here to pick up some equipment and move some stuff around so i figured i'd show you while i was out here so as you can see the net is up as you can see here just like uh, hitting for contract said a foot outside the net just uh the ball is gonna these aren't gonna be these aren't gonna be secured to here this is gonna be a loose net so when the ball hits it, it should slow down a little bit before hitting the pole and bouncing off and hitting someone in the face. Ideally, as you can see, the cables are up. We have a cable going across the middle 
a cable here and the cable on the other side obviously and then we have a cable going across the middle here as well that holds the sag up so it looks real cool um i was a little worried before the net went up if it'd be big enough i don't know why um but here's the entrance and let's see if i can do this without tripping but that's a that's pretty nice I like that. We might actually put some baseball clay here, um, just so the kids are used to hitting out of out of um, out of holes. Um, that was kind of something new for them. Was getting up to it, and then there there'd be a hole there, right? So now they can't. They hit different when they get into a hole versus standing on astroturf and flat ground and perfect conditions. So practice like you play. That's a project down the road, though. Not right now. But look at that. Woo. That is beautiful. Gonna make some superstars here. That'd be cool if we do actually make one MLB player come out of here. <laughs> what was it? Uh, Chipper Jones. Chipper Jones actually came from uh, a couple towns over. A little tiny town. Probably didn't even have a nice facility. Not Probably didn't even have as nice a facility as this batting cage when he was very young. But yeah, there's the box for the net. Just a few more things left for like the astroturf and stuff like that and secure it and then put some kids in it and start whiffing i'm kidding they're gonna hit the ball anyways that's batting cage build i'm probably not gonna film the rest of it just because I'm, I'm just gonna be busy again um with work and stuff but um you'll probably see us again when we build the baseball field which is going in the back um which should be fun that one's gonna be more fun that's more equipment work and stuff like that less grunt work like digging holes and stuff so anyways if you're here still thank you like subscribe share it questions whatever i'm getting a phone call i'll see y'all later